Bruce more Man Cave Munchies? Hey, hey. We now have our own license plate, folks. Man Cave Munchies is officially on the map. Alright, we're going to get to the second part of our program, which is like I explained to you, is cooking uh, shrimp etouffee. Now here's what you need in your basic etouffee blend. You need shrimp stock. Now you know when you peel all the shrimp and you get all the nasty tails and legs and backs and heads and all that? What you do is you take all those and you put them in a pot with about a quart of water and you put in some spices like thyme and uh, maybe some herbs of Provence and you let that cook for about 45 minutes and it turns into this. This is not chicken. This is shrimp. You got to have shrimp stock to do most of your classic can you smell that? recipes. That's right. Okay. We've also got, now you can use crushed tomatoes, but this is actually some tomato sauce that I made. It's got little chunks in there. It can be, you know, it doesn't have to be chunky. You got to have the most important thing, of course, butter, because we're going to start this dish by making a classic French roux, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. All right. You have to have flour, which is the other part of the roux, and then you have to have some other wet stuff. Now, some people will use things like wine in this. Since this is man cave munchies, we're going to use a brewski. To get started on this, really difficult, you take your butter, you cut it up, and you start melting it down. We're going to start off with a half a stick, but I've got more. I need more. In fact, I'm going to cut up another one while it's melting. What's great about learning how to work with the roux is it opens up a whole world of possibilities for all kinds of dishes. French dishes, Cajun dishes, Italian. There's two kinds of roux. It's blonde roux and brown roux. For this dish, we're going to do what's called brown roux, and I'll show you what the difference is in just a couple of seconds. First thing you got to do is let the butter melt. Do not rush this. That's the whole point of a roux is you have to be patient. Let the butter melt, then we're going to start throwing some flour in again. You don't dump a whole half pound of flour in it. You do a little bit of time and incorporate it. And then, you are, if you're doing like an Italian recipe, like let's say you want to do a classic Alfredo sauce, you immediately would add the wet ingredient, which in Alfredo would be cream. But, since we're doing a brown sauce, reddish brown sauce, which is etouffee, we're going to let the butter and the flour brown before we add our wet ingredients. And once again, of course, to make things simple, we have our man cave munchie blend, which is all you need to make shrimp etouffee, or for that matter, jambalaya. Pretty much the same thing, just cooking them in a different way. And we're just going to keep working that in there. More and more. You add a little, little flour and you stir. The trick is you want to get the lumps out. This is, this is a classic roux. The trick with the roux is be patient. Do not put tons of flour in there. Because you get to a certain point where you will incorporate enough of the flour that you'll know that it's, it's ready to go. So I'll let you focus down on that. I'm going to keep feeding it flour though. And in the meantime, see what I'm doing is I'm going to let the, the butter start to brown. This is what root making a roux is all about. You know, you'll know you've added too much if it turns into sludge. We don't want it to do that. See the consistency? It's almost pudding-like. It's got a little liquid, but it's not too thick and it's not too thin. And I'm going to turn this up just a bit. What I'm looking to do now is brown it. And once it browns, then we start adding in the liquid. The first thing we're going to add in is the shrimp stock. Okay. We'll add some. We can always add more. Then again, you do everything a little bit at a time. Because the butter is going to all get incorporated and then it's going to start turning into a sauce. Okay, I'm familiar. And because this is Man Cave Munchies, guess what? We're going to pour some beer in there too. Okay. You can use wine, but it works with beer. You know what? I like things cooked with stuff like that, but I don't like to drink But I'm not going to cook these around Christmas time. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So anyway, so you want Making to us a mess at two So you gotta change some my husband. Then we're gonna add a little bit of our <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do things together, but I don't know if I'm married to me. Oh well you have to stay home. You said we're gonna add a little bit of our olive oil. It's actually tomato sauce. Yeah, I mean I made it homemade tomato sauce, yeah. It's not store bought. With the rest of our beer. It's a real man cave munchie. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting there. And I still have more 
broth, and if I have to, I'll break out another beer, too. But I knew we were going to have a mess of friends over here to eat, so. And then, just what? We start adding shrimp. This is it. Now for the moment we have all waited for. Put the bottom shell out. Want some shrimp dip? Talking to the cameraman. Put the lid on it for just a couple of minutes here. Just let it bubble slowly. Don't cook it too fast. About five minutes, we're going to have us some etouffee. Oh, here it is. my Here's all it takes. Get yourself some rice. Get yourself some shrimp. One other thing I wanted to point out, spiciness, as far as heat is concerned, is a very personal issue. So I made this on the savory side, but if you want to heat up, just add your favorite hot sauce. So you can have it, you can have it hot, and Mama can have it cool. There's no fights in the kitchen. You don't have to make it so hot that everybody can't handle it.